New York's Metropolitan Museum of Art has an exhibit coming up that I'm really excited about. It opens November 12th and it's called Jewelry, the Body Transformed. The exhibition overview calls jewelry some of the, one of the most personal and universal forms of art and asks the questions, what is jewelry, why do we wear it, and what meanings does it carry? You may think the answers are obvious, but think about it. I mean, jewelry is not in the line of clothing, shelter, and food that you need to exist. It's something that we like and something that we want and something that people have done since ancient times. So what is it all about? I'm feeling like maybe this exhibit is going to be like one I saw in Paris last year, which was called Medusa, Jewelry and Taboos. And I've never walked around in a museum exhibit taking photos really of all the signs that they had up on the wall, because that's how much I loved it. Like, you want to sneak your pictures of the jewelry and what have you, but I'm like, no, it's all about the text here. To quote from the exhibit in Paris, um, the text said, while it is one of the most ancient and universal forms of human expression, jewelry has an ambiguous status, midway between fashion and sculpture, and is rarely considered to be a work of art. Indeed, it is often perceived as too close to the body, too feminine, precious, ornamental, or primitive. But it is thanks to avant-garde artists and contemporary designers that has been reinvented, transformed, and detached from its own traditions. The text continue to say that jewelry's feminization remains quite recent. Up until the Industrial Revolution, jewelry, like clothing, was an essential attribute of masculine power. I'm just going to read a little more because I love it so much. Um, it says, challenging a modern polarization between the sexes premised on clothing and behavior, jewelry has become a crucial mode of expression for communities that flout conventions, in particular through appropriation, accumulation, and excess. That excess part, when you look at the guys from Migos with all their big, big diamond chains, like, we're talking about that. Anyway, as I said in a blog post about the Paris exhibit, and you'll find the link to that below this video, um, I was just really moved by all this kind of explanation and interpretation because you do kind of get uh, from some people an impression that they think jewelry is frivolous because you, know, you don't need it to survive, but you don't need the ballet or paintings or sculpture either, and those are all okay. And um, I do think jewelry has been kind of discredited because it's worn and because we associate it with being worn by women. I definitely think of my jewelry as wearable art. I literally aspire to make it museum worthy. I've said that many times that I hope it'll be in a museum down the line. So when I, you know, see or hear someone talking about it this way and, and giving jewelry the credit that I think it's due when it's done right, um, it's very important to me. I don't know what the Met's going to have because um, I haven't seen a, any kind of preview of the exhibit, but just from the description it sounds a lot like the exhibit in Paris, and I just hope it's going to get that point across. Um, I did look at, there are some exhibition highlights already online, and one of the things that inspired me to do jewelry, you've got to look at this pair of um, ancient Greek earrings. You could put that, they're so fantastic, they're so beautifully done. There's something you could put on now and wear them, and they're from, you know, almost 2,000 years ago. So I'm not being paid by the Met for this. I'm just really enthusiastic and excited to see jewelry treated as art. So that exhibit opens November 12th. I'm definitely going to be there. And um, you jewelry lovers, your art lovers too, always remember that. Don't forget to hit subscribe on this YouTube channel so you don't miss my next video.